Nathan, another 90 minutes in pre-season. Your uh, thoughts looking back on that game against Portsmouth? Yeah, it was a good, I think, a really good run out. It was a real good test um, in terms of, you know, different. They played two up top. It caused a little problem in terms of going direct, but I thought it was a real, real good run out. Uh, I thought we created, you know, enough chances to have, to have won a couple of games, to be honest with you, but that's the sharpness that we're not quite there yet, you know, with a month into it. So it's been quite extensive in terms of that. Now we're sharpening them up in around the box and the final little small-sided stuff and, and things, and that's all it was lacking today. I think we had some glorious chances, Fred, Potsy, right at the end, of, you know, if Harry squares that, that we got, you know, we've created enough pot Potsies at the bar. So I think there's been, a, you know, a real, real positivity about us. And, and then it's just about gathering momentum. There's a lot of people, you know, that um, been, are missing today. Um, people like Pele, who's only had five days training, you wouldn't have thought of his performance because he was outstanding. So, look, it's all about gathering momentum. It's another 90 minutes, more thing, you know, legs. And, and look, I'm, I'm pleased with the run-out. That's some positive football there. There certainly was in the, uh, the first 10 minutes, wasn't there? The opening goal. Um, lovely work from Fred on Yudin to release uh, Elijah, who clearly finished. Yeah, it was a really good finish, really well worked. And as I said, it was when we did, we were brave enough to get it through the, the lines and into the final third. You know, I thought we were a real, real threat. Um, and uh, no, it's, it's been, you know, it's been. Uh, I, I just thought it was a real good run out all, all, all in, and I, I'm just a little bit disappointed that we didn't that we didn't take a couple of the chances because it, it, you know we have been doing that in pre-season, but obviously this is a different test and it's a, a different intensity of the game, and that's how I was pleased with everything really. I'm sure a bit of frustration though at conceding again uh, so quickly after the goal though. And not that it's just a manner of it, you know, because it's pretty simple really, direct. You know, we, we thought we'd we'd been able to handle that over the years and stuff, but you know, we didn't win the first ball, didn't go with a runner, got slid in, it's too easy. Didn't have, they didn't have to earn that. All they had to do was challenge and and, and that's not win ahead and that can't happen. I bring centre offs in there to, to be dominant, and if they're not dominant, then then look, we're, we're, we're in a, a spot of bother. But um, but no, look, overall, I, I thought it was a real good. We limited them to very very little, um, which is you know, again, it was a real good test for play to Portsmouth. I mean, they got they got a good the eleven that they, they put out there is a very strong eleven. And it was a real good test, and I was just pleased with with how positive we were. Pleased of a reaction second half, so I thought we were much more front-footed, and we showed we have good levels in terms of our intensity. And good for some of the new players to get a few more minutes under the belt. They, they, some of them, are particularly, very settled in the squad now and, and the way that you want them to play. Well, we are. We've worked, you know, a lot, and that's only going to get better as, as we go on and as the time goes on. But uh, but what we have to do is 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 now just take that on board and, and just sharpen up because that's all we're missing now is that little bit of sharpness, and you know, because I think we must have had 18 shots. Um, did we really put the keeper at full, full, pay, a full, full stretch and stuff? Probably not. Um, so there's just that final bit. We must have had something like 15, 16, 18 crosses. Um, no one, not one of them, really found the man marker. So there's all that sharpness now to come, which is the final bit of preseason. And the big thing, of course, today, fans back in Kenilworth, yeah, yeah. good numbers. I mean, it's certainly more than we had for either of the, the two games during the season. Just what was that feel, feeling like to come out? Yeah, it feels like a proper game again, you know. And and, uh, to see, you know, see over 4,000 there, and 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 that, and they got to see football. They got to see it to the side that wanted to be front-footed again. So look, it was it was brilliant. It's always good to have fans back because football without fans isn't isn't quite that. And we love having fans here. We've got great fans. We know that. With plenty of noise, and, and and we're very pleased to have them back. And I said they've they've deserved it for what they've done for the club over the over the the, the pandemic period and and stuff. And it was it was great to see them. So so look, that, that that's that's a real positive as well. And another week before they're back here again. Um, for a game against your side Brighton, you must be looking forward to that one. But of course, the build-up, another seven days of pre-season training and developing the squad. Still. Exactly, and that's that's all we can do, and that's all we're doing. You know, we know we're not at, at the finished article yet. Um, we've got a lot of players we've had to integrate, but they're taking on board. They're working hard. We've got a great environment in terms of the, you know, the quality that we, we, we're showing, and it's all about get, gathering momentum. It's all about getting sharp. It's all about getting that fitness, staying injury-free. As I said, we've probably got nine out today in terms of nine not available. Um, um, for whatever reason, obviously one's away with with Jamaica, but um, so, so look, we're only going to get better, and that's that's a pleasing thing. And as far as the transfer business this uh, uh, summer, all done very early and um, been building since. You hinted at possibly others, one or two, to come in. Still, is that still the case, or are you think you're done now? Unless something special comes up, we won't. You know, we won't. We won't add to the squad. We're, we're very settled. Got good numbers. It's about getting everyone back, everyone fit, everyone ready, and then. If something that's, that improves us, really improves us, comes available, then look, 
there's there's probably scope to go do that but it's it's about now getting the settled squad finalizing year 23 24 25 and then and, and then seeing where we are from there and just a final word we don't pick up players but one re-signed a contract this week um, and back on the pitch obviously the fans love to see Pelly Rudder Panzo just your thoughts on him re-signing to be with Luton Town it's a massive signing you know we've had to beat off a lot of competition and Pelly was out of contract and it's the only time really he's been out of contract so he, he had a look around which which, which every was prerogative to, to think he knew that I kept, you know, I kept in touch with him and his, his dad and his, his advisors and stuff and he knew that we wanted him uh, and he's a big big player for us he's a great player for us he's a big character and he showed today you know he's had five days training and to go on and to do that for, for, for half an hour what he did shows that we, we were right to work hard to keep him and, and we have and, and praise the Lord we have and, and we want him to get better here.